Hello everyone, I'm Ajay and welcome back to the channel. So today we are again uh, back with one more video about Infinity training and uh, this is a link again uh, for the joining the telegram group. So in this video I'm going to solve on one of the coding questions that's been asked in Infinity in the previous years. And before going to that, uh, I have a small task for you. Um, firstly, like uh, the question which I'm going to discuss is the uh, interesting numbers. The code might be small or the logic might be small. But I hope like you might not be aware about this uh, concept about in interesting numbers because in academics and all we study the Armstrong numbers or normal prime numbers or any kind of palindromes and anything but uh, it's very rare that uh, some might come across these interesting numbers. Same way uh, today I'm going to explain these interesting numbers and um, and I'm going to solve this in Python as well as on, as well as in Java. Then the task which I'm going to give you is uh, just comment down uh, what's the meaning of uh, this that is N A R C I S S number narcissist number just comment down what is exactly they mean by this don't google it because if you google it just a matter of seconds just uh, try to guess it and whatever comes to mind just comment it down um, through that you will also get to know what exactly is this and can be used in any MCQs and if they ask you can get to know what exactly this is uh, called. So just uh, let's jump to the problem. Interesting numbers. Okay. I didn't give the problem description because I'm going to explain on my own. So the interesting numbers. Let's suppose we have a number um, 1. 2, 3. Let's suppose this is a number and first step is in the interesting number we need to find the even digit count and odd digit count. Not the uh, not to find whether the number is odd or even but to check each and every individual digits and after that we need to get the count of digits like in this 1, 2. So even count is only 2 is there. So even count is 1 and the odd count is 2. So this is the first step. And second step is we need to check that count which we got that is the even value that is value whether this is odd value or not. And same way the odd count or the value which we got whether this is number or not. So if I summarize this, it will be like to find the individual count that is individual even and odd count, even and odd count, then check whether even count is odd and whether this odd count is even. If all these conditions satisfies, then this number is called interesting number. Yeah, so I explained the problem description. So if you want, uh, before I jump to the code, just pause the video and try to uh, code this solution. And uh, let's try to solve this in both Java and Python. Firstly, I'm going to solve this in Java uh, for that. Uh, yeah, I'm using the IntelliJ editor. Let's create a main function. OK. Mm. Let's check a scanner. Scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in. And uh, mm, yeah, so yeah, I forgot to say that. Uh, so I just added some more modification to it. Um, I said the concept of interesting numbers, but the question is uh, we will be given a start range and the end range. We need to find uh, the, the how many uh, interesting numbers lies between this range uh, from the two to 200. How many interesting numbers lies in between? Whatever range is given in the input, we need to pin the output that is the how many interesting numbers so for that uh, we actually require two um, uh, variables that is the start let's take s dot next int okay and the end range s a dot next int okay that's fine and uh, let's create a function okay static mm. I'll create a function which checks whether number is 
uh, interesting or not is interesting no. yeah and uh, let's accept an um, n value that is a number and uh, yeah don't worry about this scanner and all and i hope like uh, everything will be given in the code later so nothing to worry so we'll be just given this as a blank uh, they'll give the function and everything you need to fill the code uh, in this function that's how the questions will be asked not just in Qt as well as in other future drives as well so is interesting or not so let's check uh, what we discussed is um, yeah even digit con so even digit con there are various ways to split the number as per the digit so i'm just following the traditional approach um let's take one more value for backup uh, that is copy the n value for the backup and uh, okay while n greater than zero and i'm creating a temporary variable which will store the last digit mm, every time and we are we will be dividing the number by time so every time we will get a new digit that is each individual digit of that number mm, n percentile 10 yeah so we got the last digit and again we will be dividing by 10 sorry yeah so we divided by 10 so every time the number will get updated and we will get the the last digit so we'll check that the reminder that is the number is even or not okay so we again require two more variables that is even count let's initialize this with zero and next is yeah oh, odd count So if reminder is equal to equal to zero, then just increase the even count. Else, just increase the odd count. Mm, yeah, I guess we are good. So after that, the one more condition is to check whether even is odd and odd is even or not. Again, checking if uh, the even count is odd or not. Uh, odd and odd count is even even is percentile two yeah is even if all if both these conditions satisfies we can just return true that is it's an interesting number otherwise we can just return false if you give if you give else and inside that return false or if you give l uh just after uh if return false it means the same because return will just exit from the block okay so I guess we are done with the function. So let's use a for loop here. Yes, mm, for i equal to 0 and i equal to take the start and i less than and and let's check the number is calling this function in this if condition and passing the i value that is a number every time. And as we need to have the count that is number of interest numbers, let's create one more variable uh, count of numbers equal to zero here if it's satisfied just increment this count of numbers and at last system dot or dot print uh, what is this count of numbers yeah so yeah logics looks like a uh, less like uh, the uh, length of code is very less but until this use all by yourself you will not uh, able to understand how exactly the logic is being developed because um, it's like that uh, uh, if you see the question and if you see the uh, code right now you'll just feel that this is just a small code but if you try to do it on your own that's a great learning so just follow that and uh, I guess let's try to execute this if it's run successfully I'll explain the code once again mm -hmm. passing Okay, it's asking for the input uh, what we have 2 and 200 okay 2 200 yeah 50 more. so it's by it's working successfully so i'll just uh, summarize the code here the java code we took the scanner and all uh, this everything is not necessary for you just try to focus on the logic uh, in the logic i just get a, a temporary variable i guess it is not required so i'm initializing an even count and odd count variables with zero to calculate the even count and odd count in the complete number 
and it's a traditional approach for using a while we are just uh, percentile 10 divided by 10 we use the same approach for armstrong numbers so any kind of palindromes and everything so it's a traditional approach to find individual digits there are other approaches like convert into string and again to cat array and taking each and every index of that cat character that's also one one approach so just the logic is to pick out the each uh, number at a time and we took that that is every time rem that is reminder will have that number individual number and whether i'm checking whether it's even or not you will see when i'm incrementing the even count if it's odd i'm incrementing the odd count and next condition if even count percentile equal to equal to that is whether even count is odd and it, and the odd count is even then it is termed as interesting numbers then we are returning to otherwise return false and here we are checking like if is interesting of i because every time i that is uh, it's iterating from the for loop so the number is being passed here and the number is being checked in this function if it returns true then uh, it's a interesting number then i'm just incrementing the count and finally whatever the uh, interesting numbers we have in between this range are being stored in the count of numbers and i'm printing using system.order.printer that's about java so the python also looks similar only the, the code syntax and so on all vary so yeah like again start equal to in top input in python okay and end equal to in top input okay we have start end and after that we need count of numbers equal to z let's create a function again for this for uh, is an interesting number let's have it and here what we'll do mm, okay let's convert this into string and we can just use for i in s every string and we can just check if in top i percentile 2 equal to equal to 0 so we can give the even count 0 and the odd count 0 and if it's percentile equal to equal to 0 that means it's an even so just we'll just increment the even count uh, sorry I don't write so else odd count less equal to one and we have the even and count count again if even count equal to equal to sorry percentile two equal to equal to odd and odd count percentile two equal to equal to zero then we can just return true otherwise return false Mm -hmm. yeah i hope this will work so again for i in range of start comma end if is interesting number of i just increment to the count of number plus one and at last just find the order numbers let's try to execute this to 200 sorry 200 yeah 54 so that's correct and uh, what i have done in python is like um, instead of using a while loop um we can you can even use the while loop again but in python we have like automatic conversion and we can easily convert one data to, to one type by, by just using str and int so i'm just converting that n to str so that i can iterate each and every character with this for loop so i will contain each and every character of that n and in that character as it's a character i'm converting to int and model uh, mod doing the modulus division by two to check whether it's even or not and rest of logic is same and after that same for loop uh, we are just iterating and checking whether it's an interesting number or not if it's an interesting just incrementing the count so that's it so this is our code of python and java and i hope you got the logic for this and do remember 
just comment down what exactly this is narcissistic number that's it for this video everyone all the best thank you